In Tile Fall Map, you can use the Drake Emote to reveal the tiles. Okay, let's try it. But I don't think that we can reveal the tiles by using the Drake Emote. Hmm, this tile didn't got revealed by the Drake Emote, but let's try it some more times. Okay, we cannot reveal the tiles by using Drake Emote. Hence, this myth is busted. In any map, if you use the Drake Emote by facing any direction, then it will automatically turn at one fixed direction. Okay, here I am in Super Slide Map. Now, let's throw the Drake Emote and see if it turns in any direction. And here, I throw the Drake Emote at that direction, but it changed his direction. Let's throw the Drake Emote some more times and check if it changes his direction every time. And yes, the Drake Emote changes his direction every time to a specific direction. Hence, this myth is also confirmed. In the new special delivery map, first take the cracker and near the spawn, throw the cracker and when it is about to explode, then jump and then you can go on the platform behind the cannon and from there, you can go on the cannon. Okay, here I am in special delivery map. Now, first we have to take the cracker. And here I got the cracker. Now first we have to throw the cracker and then jump when it is about to explode. And here is that platform where we have to go on. Okay, let's try some more times. And here I am on this platform. And from here I can see the full view of this map. Now we have to go on that cannon. And yes, we can climb on this cannon easily. Hence, this myth is also confirmed. When you use invisible emote and when you jump and land, then a effect is created that can reveal your position for a second. Okay, here I am in block dash map. Now let's use the invisible emote and see if any effect is created by jumping and landing. And yes, here is that effect that is being created by our player's foot. Also, this foot effect is visible by other players, so other players can see this effect and guess the location. If you are using the invisible emote, hence this myth is confirmed. In Behold the Gold Map, first go at the place where the goats punch you by using the trampoline after crossing the river and you will find a lava pool there. And if you jump in that lava pool, then you will die and a sound of laser will come. Okay, first let's go at that place. Here I am at that place. There is the lava pool. Now let's jump at this pool and see if any sound of laser comes. And yes, when I died, it produced the sound of laser. That sound of laser comes when we die to a laser. I think this is just a glitch in this map. Hence, this myth is confirmed. In Turtle Tumble Map, there is a pipe near Moving Gate and you can climb on that pipe by using Taunt. Okay, first let's go near that Moving Gate. Okay, here is that Moving Gate. And there is the pipe we have to climb on. Okay, let's try some more times.
and here I climbed on this pipe. And from here I can see the front view clearly. Hence this myth is confirmed. In behold the gold map. First go at the last. And from there you can directly cross the lava by walking using the shield. Okay, first let's go at the last. Okay, here I am at the last. Now let's select shield. Now we have to go on lava and use shield and go to other platform. And yes, I reached the other side easily by using shield and with no effort. And if we try to go from other way, then there are chances that we can get eliminated by lasers or lava, but by using the shield, we can easily cross that part by just running. Hence this myth is confirmed. In Legendary Laser Dash Map, if you use Mr. Beast Briefcase in lasers, then it goes disappear. Okay, so this myth is saying that if we throw Briefcase in the lasers, then it will disappear. Okay, let's try this. And here that Briefcase didn't got disappeared, but let's try this some more times. Here also the Briefcase didn't got disappeared. Hence this myth is busted. In the Special Delivery Map, First, select the cracker from the spawn and then throw it on the trampoline, and you will see that crackers will bounce. Okay, first let's select the crackers from here. Now let's go near the trampoline. Here is the trampoline. Now let's throw the crackers on the trampoline and see if the crackers bounces. And yes, the cracker bounced when I throwed the cracker on the trampoline. Hence, this myth is also confirmed. In over and under map, at the moving poles, you can climb on the green wall by using super jump. Okay, first let's go near the moving poles. Okay, here are the moving poles. Now let's try to climb on the green wall by using super jump. And yes, we can climb on green walls by using super jump, but let's try this again. Let's wait for the cooldown of super jump. And yes, we can climb on or dodge the green walls by using Super Jump. Hence, this myth is also confirmed. 